yeah so first i'll talk about colliders okay so uh, these are invisible components you can add to game objects which can notify you in case of any collisions so there are there are a few examples of course when you uh, when you do when you do start doing it uh, you will you will you will know there are a lot of colliders uh, so i'll just i'll, sh I'll show it to you guys uh, so as i said a collider is all, uh, just like i i added rigid body to my player there is there is also a uh, there is uh, there is also another collider component i can add to any any game object of mine so if i look at my obstacle i've clicked on obstacle right now which is this black box uh, i see a sprite renderer of course which draws my draws my graphic and uh, over here i have my box collider 2d so uh, i have uh, so uh, again box collider 2d i went to add component box collider 2d over here so i added that so this box collider 2d what it does is it uh, it uh, you know it uh, de defines an area where if another collider comes and you uh, if another collider if another game object with a collider component comes and collides with it then uh, you you can register a collision so uh, one one important uh, note is that when you when you want two bodies to collide then one of them has to have a rigid body component otherwise it may not get registered as a collision so uh, over here uh, i can also edit this collider uh, so when i when i look here this part is, which i can define is the collider so i can even define it to be like this and if my player or any other game object if it even even comes into this area it may register a collision so hence i need to define the boundary of my collider based on what uh, based on what sort of boundary i want so i have defined it uh, defined my collider to just uh, uh just you know cover cover my obstacle is that like some sort of a hitbox a uh, yes okay Wait, you said hidden box, right? I said hit box, hit box, H I T B O X, what a hit box. Oh. Achha, what? Uh, what's a hit box? Uh. I mean, it's like a general area for like any game character in which, like, if you if you interact with them in that area, then an interaction is registered. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like that only. Okay. Okay. So, um, so yeah, so one sec. So I've I've talked about this box collider 2D component. You can click on edit collider to vary this part. Okay, and um, there are there are a few other properties which I'll uh, which I'll I'll recommend for you guys to explore on your own. It will be very helpful. So uh, again, uh, the, here is a coin for this. Yeah. So for this coin again, um, one sec. Just remove this. Yeah. So I have defined a circle collider 2D over here. So again, just like I had a box collider over here, which takes the general shape of a, re a rectangle, um, I I have a circle collider 2D component as well, which I can add component, and I can edit this collider as well. If I if I zoom in here, I can you know I can change its size based on what I want. So for now, I've made it like this. Now, Unity registers collisions in two ways. Okay, so one way is uh, called on collision enter 2D. Uh, th this right now I'm talking about 2D. So you add this 2D over here. Otherwise, when you talk about 3D games, you just have to remove the 2D. Otherwise, the uh, the parts remain the same. Then on trigger enter 2D. So collisions are only detected yeah so i uh, one of the uh, one of the game objects has to have a rigid body attached to it so uh, there is one on collision enter and there is an on trigger enter so uh, one sec yeah 
uh, over here, I have, uh, so as I told you guys, I made two scripts, right? Player collision, player movement, and I attached both to my player. So uh, player collision uh, is attached to my player. So when my player interacts with any other collider, I can get the information of what it uh, what it collides with. So that is what these two functions are used for. I have an on collision enter 2D and I have collision 2D collider. So uh, this collider refers, uh, I've just assigned an arbitrary variable to what it collides with. So uh, over here, I'm going to log collider dot game object dot name. So I just want the name of what my player collides with. So uh, I go here, I press play. One sec. Oh yeah, I removed the... So uh, now you'll see, as soon as I interact with my uh, my obstacle, it registers a collision. Again, it registers another collision. So that is uh, now it is printing for me obstacle. Why is it printing obstacle? Because over here, I, I what I what, what I wanted to log was collider, the variable which is assigned to what my what my player collides with and the name of that so dot game object dot name so uh, and over here you guys can see that the black box is named as obstacle so that is why it prints obstacle so that is one of the one of the ways in which you can register a collision now um, as with regards to what the collider does say i edited it to make it a little like this okay the imaginary box is this size, but my but my obstacle is very small only. So if I play it again, I can see that look my it's registering collisions, but I'm not able to go through over here. So that's because of the collider size being like this. So that is uh, so because of the box collider, it is able to collide. So I'll just make it return to its original state. Now the now one one more thing is on trigger enter. So what this does is say I may want to collect a coin. So uh, to collect a coin, I may want to pass through this object. So this yellow thing I've made is my coin. So what uh, so how I wanted to work is. I just want to pass through it and you know just get a coin say uh, for in my in my game so what i can do is uh, this on trigger enter 2d function what it, uh, according to it what will happen is let's say uh, say if i added uh, uh, if you have any collider it has a checkbox called is trigger so um, uh, like if I check this, then the uh, then the collision can be registered via the is uh, the via the via this function on trigger enter. And um, uh, but the exception is this time I'll pass through the object. So the collision is still being triggered, but I can pass through this object now. So again. Um, you are uh, like the, the obstacle name is still getting a uh, called because over here on trigger i have printed collider dot game object dot name so in this case what if i put destroy collider dot game object so the destroy is also a function from unity which allows me to destroy a game object so uh, when i when i do collect a coin I just go like this, it prints coin and the coin gets destroyed. And if I go here, the obstacle also gets destroyed. 
so uh, that is that is how these two that is how these two functions work on collision enter and on trigger enter and uh, the one one more thing is wait yeah so uh, anyone uh, has any questions with respect to this did that you one? sorry um, did you specify the destroy function for both of the objects or just for one object oh in this case uh, in this case what i did was uh, uh, right now the obstacle did not have the is trigger checked okay, okay. so uh, right now when i checked is trigger i just wanted to show you how is trigger worked so what i did was if if it has if it goes through any game object with a trigger like i go i uh, uh, i wanted to log it so yeah on trigger enter i want to destroy whatever trigger object it it collides with so uh, because i because i ticked is trigger here that is why i was i destroyed both the objects like uh, i can of course i can define which specific game object if i want to destroy it or not it it uh, it depends on what i want to do uh, okay. Okay. does that answer your question yeah 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 uh, anyone else So uh, only after checking the boxes, a, f uh, a function is created, and in the function you can write anything about. Uh, you can uh, edit anything, uh, whatever uh, will happen after collision or these things. Yes. Over here, uh, with this on collision enter, I may want you know. Uh, so in this case, I just gave you one example. Say if I if I collide, I want the other the other the coin to just get destroyed because i have equipped that coin or uh, something like that so uh, so uh, so that is that is why uh, i can define what i want to do so say say i'm working on this um, here like if i want to attack like uh, attack an enemy or something and i uh, and um, say say my player is punching it so the uh, colliders will you know uh, see the interaction. I can define whatever I want for to happen. 